Hello and welcome back. We are now on to the next section of the muscle list. Muscle of the thigh. We just got done with muscles of the hip. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is called the rectus femoris or femoris. That's this big, it's like the big front muscle of your quadricep group. So um, it originates on the inferior iliac spine or the anterior inferior iliac spine and the rim right on the very edge of the acetabulum and it inserts on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar tendon. So it crosses your knee joint. Its job is to extend the lower leg at the knee and also helps to flex the thigh at the hip. Because it spans these two joints, um, if we were to stabilize our lower leg and contract this, we would bend the hip this way, we'd flex here. If we were to support our hip joint, what this muscle does is it's gonna, if your knee is bent, it's gonna straighten your leg. That's the extension part of the action for your rectus femoris. Then the other three parts of your quadricep muscle, you may be familiar with that, quad means four. We have our rectus femoris, and then we have three vastus. So I'm gonna remove the rectus so we can see all three. So if we look at the leg muscle, or the leg model, here's the medial surface, right? That's the inner part of the leg. So this is gonna be your vastus medialis. This is your vastus lateralis, and then the vastus intermedius is just this tiny little guy right here. It's like this little rainbow at the top. So the, let's start with the vastus medialis, originates along the entire uh, linea aspera of the femur. So it starts on the back side of the femur. It comes around and inserts on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar tendon. And its job is to extend the lower leg at the knee. So it also is helping with that extension job with the rectus femoris. Our vastus lateralis um, originates on the proximal half of the linea aspera, so more up here. Inserts also on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar tendon, and it also helps to extend the lower leg at the knee. <coughs> Excuse me. And then our vastus intermedius, this little guy right here, um, originates on the anterior and lateral surface of the femur, so here's its little tendon, um, and it inserts on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar tendon. So they all three of the vastus insert on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar tendon, and all three vastus extend the lower leg. Okay. With a correction, I'm just looking at the notes here, or the muscle list. So vastus, this little guy in the middle, actually flexes the lower leg at the knee and extends and laterally rotates the thigh. So it does more extension with the thigh, while these um, and the rectus femoris do more of the extension of the lower leg and flexion of the hip. Okay. Now onto the back side of our thigh. These are what we collectively know as our hamstrings, right? So our quads are in the front, those four muscles, and then these, these three muscles make up our hamstrings. So we have the biceps femoris, which is this guy right here. So the biceps femoris originates on the ischial tuberosity and linea aspera, so the back side of your um, hip there, and it inserts on the lateral condyle of the tibia and the fibular head. So it's on the lateral side, a little bit of the lateral tibia and the fibula, and its job is to flex the lower leg at the knee. So this is your knee bender, and also does a little bit of um, extending and laterally rotating the thigh because it crosses the hip joint and the knee joint. It can have actions on both of those joints. The other two are what we call the semitendinosus and the semimembranosus. So the semitendinosus, I remember because it sits on top of the other one, T for tendinosus, T for top. So this is your semitendinosus. This muscle comes off, and we can see the semimembranosus underneath. Semitendinosus, semimembranosus here. So the semitendinosus originates on the ischial tuberosity, inserts on the tibia, helps to flex the lower leg at the knee, immediately rotates the lower leg and extends the thigh at the hip. The semimembranosus, the one at the bottom, also uh, originates on the ischial tuberosity, inserts on the medial condyle of the tibia and helps to flex the lower leg at the knee, immediately rotates the lower leg and extends the thigh at the hip. So our semitendinosus and semimembranosus have the same actions, which are really nice. Next on the medial surface here, Kind of covering some of our adductors. This is our gracilis. So the gracilis originates on the inferior ramus of the pubis, inserts on the tibia, 
<clears throat> and this flexes the lower leg and immediately rotates uh, the leg at the knee and adducts the thigh at the hip. And then this guy that I took off earlier to see the iliopsoas and the adductors, this is called a sartorius, this big long strap that goes in front of all of your quadricep muscles. So the sartorius originates at the anterior superior iliac spine, inserts on the medial surface near the tibial tuberosity, and it also helps to flex, abduct, and laterally rotates the thigh and helps to flex the lower leg at the knee. So all of these muscles that I just went over have quite a long list of actions that they do for these muscles of the thigh. So their origins and insertions aren't too weighty, um, but this part is. So make sure that you uh, uh, accommodate enough time to get all of those different actions in for those thigh muscles. All right, um, one more video. We will wrap up with the muscles of the leg coming up next.